Welcome everybody, today I have a special video. We are with Manu Martin from Mejora to Padel. You have to subscribe to the YouTube channel. You can improve your Spanish and your Padel at the same time. Right, we're all set. You having a busy day? I can imagine. Yeah, some waiting and some arranging all the players yeah, to imagine. get them into the car. But it's nice. I like to um, to also to improve my paddle. And everybody's super nice. Um, I feel like it's different uh, the, the tennis atmosphere to the paddle. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. Yes, quite different because the, the the paddle players are not so high yet. No. Yet. Maybe. So maybe it's changing. Yeah, yeah, it's <laughs> for sure it's changing, but. Well, it takes uh, some time to get for, to that level. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, because I, the interviews that I had in the car really enjoyed. So uh, it was like I was driving with a friend in a car. <laughs> because you're all like this family. Yesterday we ate all the same table, all the players there, yeah. like a one big table. It's like a traveling family. Absolutely, definitely. And we were having lunch now, and, yeah. and mostly of the players have been uh, fighting. At the, at the court, and now they are yeah. eating together, okay. uh, having lunch <laughs> together. So yeah. we are all, we all are traveling uh, with the same people. All yeah, the time. every time. E every week. Yeah, Vienna next week. Uh, I think. Uh, Vienna next yeah. week. Yeah. yeah. When did you start with your YouTube channel? Uh, 2013. Wow. It was my first video, but it was uh design just maybe aiming for the coach for coaches okay not for the players no uh yes because i was working on the spanish uh, paddle federation okay. uh, coaching coach, coaches and in in december 2016 it was my first youtube video as we are for we players used, yeah yeah for for amateur players for you as a, as yeah. a youtube video not, not the, the same that i was doing three years before yeah yeah so because i watched all of like with the positioning and yeah i i found it really interesting in the way you um introduced the video with the the area where you are and stuff i think that's also nice i'm, I'm started making some more vlogs now where you also see w where it is uh, we've been to sweden and denmark uh, to to show the facilities and stuff and i uh, really like to show that part as well so uh yeah, yeah, people like nice. to know about something else about about paddle because you can see the the matches at the, the yeah. TV and you you can see the center court and everything, but you cannot see what's going on out of the yeah. and that atmosphere. So I I decided to to record some blocks and yeah. then I have been doing this for <laughs> almost ten years. It is long, yeah, <laughs> a long time, but it's super fun. <laughs> Yeah, I, I really enjoy it. Yeah. Uh, it's it's hard just to edit all that content. Now I have some yeah. help, but for oh, a long that's time I was doing it by by myself. So it's uh, yeah. Then I don't think people realize how long it takes. No, <laughs> I, I just finished the recording of one uh, video. Uh, we're editing like twelve hours, and it didn't went really good. So it's like ah, no, I no. put my most effort ever into this video, and and oh, she. She's gonna die. She's gonna, she wanted to kill herself, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, but yeah, sometimes you have that. And it's interesting because um, for you, you're coaching all the professional players. So uh, for me, that's super interesting as well. Uh, and also the ladies, because I like to, to watch the ladies. Because I, I think I it's for me, it's better to, to watch them. Because they play without smash, like how I should play, of course. That's not the way I play. <laughs> Sometimes I go I for the smash on the wrong moment, but I feel like the tactics and stuff you learn a lot from the from the women, uh, which is super interesting. And and I was wondering uh, what you think is the most important. If you is is there something that you think is more valuable than others? Like the technique is more important than the tactics or the positioning? Or do you have one thing that you will say this is the most important for the World Paddle Tour players? Yeah, the most important thing is to put the ball in. That's okay. the, the most important yeah. thing. That, well, obviously in, in, in Paddle is just a mix. You have to be balanced between the yeah. mental thing, the technical, the tactic, uh, about uh, the... What? Uh, you need that technical skills if you want to follow yeah. the tactic 
rules because yeah. okay you want to do something but if you are not able and you don't have the, te the technical skills to put the ball yeah. in that uh, direction with the spin with the speed uh, then you cannot do everything that you you are because we all know yeah. what what we have to do yeah but we cannot do it yeah uh, so it's about be balanced between all these parts and sometimes sometimes you have to train more on the on the te technical thing to yeah. be able to follow the the tactical rules yeah so you have uh, more options if you're a technique yeah person. the more you improve your technique the more options you have uh, talking about the tactics and overall you you have the mental uh, the, the mental thing that, that it yeah. makes you compete better when, when when you have to. Yeah, because I talked with some of the players and uh, I I, uh, I just st uh, sp spoke to uh, Paquito and to uh, some other players and they all work with. Uh, I spoke with Tony Bueno and he said yeah. he's working with a mental coach. All of them. Uh, and it's so important, but I think it's not uh, uh, the most the th the thing that you will think first of. But for me, it's one of the most crucial things to combine everything together. Is that something you work with the players on the court, or is there some uh, extra professional? No, we need help, yeah. and, and all the players uh, they have. We ha we have a, a, a team, so yeah. I'm doing the technical tactical thing. Yeah. But we have the psychologist, and we need. But we need help because when we are competing on, on court, yeah. uh, I don't have the. Uh, the extra help from the psychologist so yeah. I know I must know how to uh, work if I want to change the behavior in the middle of the of the match yeah so it, um, it's not the same with then with the amateur player but because of the, the professional player they have all the technical skills yeah. super uh, super and and the, the amateur player for example maybe it's five uh, from from ten yeah but the, the, the professional player all of them they have the technical skills so the difference what really makes the difference is how they behave and how they perform when they have to when it's the golden point or when it's uh, the tie break so it that it, it really makes the difference yeah. so when we are trying to compete with the best players in the world then you have to be uh, really like a shark you have to smell the blood and yeah. to know how to behave in their very right moment exactly so the, the mental thing is the difference between the number two and the number nine or ten yes yeah. maybe if you, it's the first time that you're watching paddle yeah and you will say it's the same they, they both are super good yeah. super strong super fast and the difference is is the, is the software yeah exactly so uh, somebody um was writing me because I was asking for questions also from the people and um, I was asking uh, I was asking them uh, uh, some questions and one of them said uh, when it's tough when it's a tough match he freezes mm -hmm. and he wanted to know how he can stop himself from freezing at the, at the decisive moment do you have a, uh, maybe a tip for that yeah of course yeah many yeah <laughs> yeah, yeah the, the thing when, when that that uh, moment comes uh, it's, it's like you have one voice in, inside of you like saying okay now you have to do this or now I cannot lose this point yeah. it's very important blah 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 uh, so you have to remove all, all your thoughts yeah. and only only be uh, yes in in this moment. Yeah. So we have some works with the uh, with the players, but you, you don't have to think on what's going on. You have to think about the tactical thing. For example, yeah. Uh, I will bounce the ball and uh, I'm gonna serve all with the uh, the backhand, and I will do my best with the first volley. But you're you're not thinking about what's gonna happen. Is you're thinking of the tactical thing or the. Not, not always the technical thing, but something that in the present, not the future or the past. Yeah. So when you live in the present and and you are just controlling what you can, not what you cannot control. Yeah. Then everything changes. But anyway, we know that it's a there, there are tough moments, and you have to train. Not all the players are, are like natural uh, handling this kind of situation. So you have to make a lot of mistakes. Yeah. And you have to lose a lot of matches. Yeah. And then you get used to that kind of pressure and situation. But uh, the most important thing is live in the present. Yeah, yeah, I think that's a very good tip. What I have is that um, if somebody has like this um, super vibora and I'm in the corner and I see them like how they prepare, I think shit, and now it's just freeze. I I, I cannot solve the problem anymore. 
I found it the most difficult situation uh, to, to, to solve. So I, I will think of, um, because I, I, I worked on it with, with um, one of my coaches and he said, uh, you have to decide later what you should do. Um, but sometimes you have to just do something uh, like a gamble. Yeah, uh, well, some, sometimes you can avoid that uh, hard point from your opponent, and then if uh, the viper, the viper, the, the viper, is the, his best shot, then you're using the love down the line, for example. Yeah. And you're not invol involving uh, your opponent, but then you can avoid, or maybe you can change your behavior and you can change your position, your position. Sometimes, yeah. uh, when you change the, your position on court, your player, your opponent has to change as well yeah so the, the thing is if you're doing the same thing maybe it's gonna happen the, the same thing is gonna happen so yeah maybe you have that's to change what I do anything Ex and yeah that makes a lot of sense maybe I do the same yeah yeah sure so <laughs> it's the <laughs> yeah then they know what, how to beat me yeah yeah and some, for example in, on that situation we use the high love very high love and then you move yeah. um, Towards towards the net, yeah. but then when your your partner partner's opponent says uh, it's coming to the net, then you go back back, and then your your opponent says like, okay, I don't know what uh, because you think that okay, I will do the vibora, and then he's coming. No, I, yeah. I put the ball towards the feet, yeah. but then no, he's going backwards, and, and then you have to change. Yeah. So sometimes we don't play with the paddle, we we play with the brain, yeah. and you put a lot of information on your opponent's brain. And then he puts the ball out. Yeah, so you want to make it more complicated for your opponent. Yeah. So you have to do something that is strange. So he has to make three different choices. To, yeah, and uh, not only one. If you stays, if you stay at the at the same place, then he doesn't have to yeah. to think. And I, uh, I'm not sure if all the like club level players are aware of where they are all the time. Yeah, I think that's a very important thing to uh, to train with them. Is that do you do that with the professional players that they adjust? Because I see, I, I was watching uh, Alejandra, and you work with her a lot, and some she it's like she knows what they are going to do, and she just does two steps back, and then she can play the good Fibra bandeja or smash, because she's already there. I think that's like one of the key things of paddle that you just know what they do. They they read it so well. Is, can you train that? Yeah, we always train that, and we we see the matches again. When after the match, we study uh, everything again. Okay, so, you watch the match back. Yeah. Okay. And, and this is very important because you have to know what your partner is doing and what he's going to do. Yeah. Because, uh, for example, if Alejandra uh, goes off the wall, and you know that he's her best shot with the bandeja, yeah. then Gemma can go yeah. and, and move forward because she knows that something good is going to happen. Yeah. And, and so, so you have to use your partner's shots, you're playing with her shots. Yeah. And, and think about this, the, the court is 10 meters uh, yeah. long. Yeah. So ten, and in 10, 10 meters, if you're using one more meter, uh, really is a huge difference. Or yeah. even two, it's uh, twenty percent of the of the court. So if you can move yeah. forward before she's hitting the ball, yeah. then you're in a good situation. And you know that because maybe you watch the match of maybe she plays against Martita, and you watch what she does. Yeah. For and example. then you can already say, okay, when she does this, you yeah, go back. Exactly. Oh, okay. And so we remember three or four uh, games that we can use. Yeah. And sometimes they're. The, the, the players are talking in, in each other and says now, uh, for, uh, for example, when Alejandra, the yeah, yeah. Alejandra has numbers, so she's saying one or two or three, and that means something. Oh. Uh, then if say if she says two, then Gemma knows that she has to place in some place. So, oh, so you yeah. have like small tactics. Yeah, one second is a lot of time. It's and you can huge. say, okay, listen, we have to do more of the twos and less for of example, the. Oh. When, when I say two, then they are going to put the ball here, then you move forward. And you know this because you're playing with a, you, your partner for well one for one year for, yeah. for, a, for that's a, a, the reason why it's very important to work train and together live with your with your partner. Yeah, I feel like this is something that I would like to learn a lot uh, because sometimes I, I play on the left, but I'm building up for the play on the right, and if it's more even 
then it feels for me that it's so much easier and I know like two steps ahead what is going to happen. And then it's like, oh, I feel no stress and I can play wherever yeah. I want. So I think it's good to build uh, in those uh, yeah. things. But uh, I think I would like to go to you in Madrid and to, to have a session. It's up to you, we are yeah. ready for you. Yeah, oh, I think it would be nice. I really like to go to, I've never trained in Madrid yet. So uh, it would be nice. You are so welcome. Yeah, oh, good. Um, anyway, thank you a lot for the interview. Um, if you want to uh, know more about Manu, um, I will put the link down below. You can watch his YouTube channel, learn Spanish and paddle in the best way possible. So. Uh, have fun and see you next time. Hasta luego. Ciao. Adios.